Hello! In this video we're going to talk about the symmetry identities. These are identities that come out of the symmetry of the graphs of y equals sine x and y equals cosine of x. So we're going to start off drawing those graphs. y equals sine x. And there's y equals cosine of x. Now, I'd like you to, to think for a minute about graph transformations. Let's say we reflect y equals sine x about the x-axis. You get this graph here. It's a reflection about the x-axis. This is y equals negative sine x. But notice if we reflect the blue graph about the y-axis, we get the exact same green graph. This is also y equals sine negative x. Clearly these are the same graph. What does that tell us? If we get the same graph when we do those two transformations, it means that these two algebraic expressions must be the same. So we get that y equals uh, sorry, that sine negative theta is equal to negative sine theta. Let's see what kind of information we get from reflecting the cosine graph. Well, take a look that if we reflect the cosine graph about the y-axis, we get the exact same graph. This is also y equals cosine of negative x. Again, these two graphs are the same. And that means that cosine of x is equal to the cosine of negative x. So we get those two symmetry identities, and they're true for any angle at all. Now notice the difference. For the sine one, if you have a negative um, <clears throat> one multiplier inside the brackets, you can bring it out front. For the cosine one, if you have a negative one multiplier inside the brackets, you can just drop it. Two very different behaviors. Now because of this symmetry, if reflecting about the x or y axis gives us the same graph, we call that an odd function. So sine of x is an example of an odd function. If we reflect about the y axis and we get the exact same graph, we call that sort of function an even function. Now for example, y equals x squared is also an even function. For an odd function, y equals x cubed is also an odd function. Let's apply these symmetry identities. So let's say we've got this expression here, and I just like to simplify it so that all my angles are x. Well, I can use a symmetry identity here. Sine of negative x is negative sine x, and I can use one here cosine of negative x is just cos x. Pardon me. <coughs> and we can continue to simplify.
Sorry, I have a bit of a cold right now. All right. Now let's uh, figure out a symmetry identity for tangent. Is it an even or odd function, or maybe neither? Well, <clears throat> we know the tan of something is the sine of that thing over the cosine of that angle. It's by the tangent identity from last video. From the symmetry identities, we have sine of negative theta is negative sine theta. Cosine of negative theta is cos theta. Negative sine theta over cos theta, well, that's negative tan theta. So we see that the tangent function is an odd function. Okay, and again, that last step, we're just using the tangent identity again, but in reverse. So we'll talk a lot more about identities in class this week. We'll see a bunch more. Um, <clears throat> and we'll see how they all fit together to help us solve equations, prove new identities, and simplify expressions. Thank you.